Hello everyone, this is Jocelyn Botero, and today our focus is on a fanfic by Anime Kujo. It's called Revelations, and it is a Black Butler fanfic, or Kuroshitsuji, if you want to go by the Japanese name. So I will be giving a bit of a review on it, and uh, also kind of making predictions based on certain phrases that were mentioned in the first two chapters of Revelations. So it's a recent release. Last week, chapter two was released, so that means sometime this week, chapter three will be released. But here I have a few quotes uh, from chapters one and two that I want to kind of span out a little bit. So here we go. We begin with the quote that opens the series. It reads, One born of darkness, the other of light. Two conflicting causes, their passion lets them unite. One battles with deceit, the other with love. Together they take on hell and heaven above. In the end, when all the world is burning down, will they follow their orders or let themselves in their rapture drown? So the quote in itself, I think, you know, it could either be, um, like a few other stories I've read, it could be repeated again at the end of this series. I don't know how long this is going to run for, but that could be my guess. Or, you know, maybe it's like half of a little poem and then the last half will be, you know, there at the end. So that's my guess on it. Um, when I reread that today, it got me thinking about another theory that I started forming in my head earlier. So... Um, we'll kind of get back to that so I don't really spoil anything. I want to kind of lead up to what I'm what I'm theorizing. So we'll move on to a quote that reads this. Uh, every day Ciel walked by it, and every day he wondered what lay beyond the solid oak, even though he already knew what the room was. It was his father's private office. Even when Vincent Phantom Hive had been alive, no one except for him and his wife, Rachel, were allowed to step, set foot inside the sacred space. So basically there's this door in this, uh, in, in Ciel's house, or mansion as his friends like to call it. It's a door that he's obviously never been allowed in, only his parents have set foot in there. And so, I mean, it's kind of common sense that there is going to be a, po uh, a point in the story where he'll go in. And, you know, there's going to be something there. Revelations is the name of the story. The summary uh, mentioned something about uh, him, you know, kind of making discoveries of all these mysteries. So, I mean, there's got to be something behind that door that's going to be discovered. So that's a prediction and, you know, I guess a common sense prediction. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? We, you know, we're in for some thrills and surprises, as Anime Kujo has pointed out. But moving on, we have here... Um, a little bit later in chapter one, after this whole door thing, where Seal starts to think about, oh, his father left him a will because his parents passed away. Uh, we're not really sure how. That also will be discussed a little bit later on with another character death. But for now, we'll go over the will that Seal's father left for him. And so this is what it reads. Number one, Ciel Vincent Phantom Hive must attend and graduate from St. Victoria University and earn a degree in business, marketing, or finance. Number two, at least 10% of Phantom Co.'s yearly earnings must be tithed to the university to be used however the church sees fit. Number three, Ciel must be present at St. Victoria's Cathedral on his 21st birthday no later than 11.30 p.m. If any of these conditions are not met, the company would be forfeit to the current CEO, Mr. Tanaka. Now, as Seal himself narrated in the story, one is pretty obvious. If he's going to take over the family company, he's got to have some business skill, a degree in business. I mean, it's common sense. Uh, number two, I mean, his family, it's been a tradition. I mean, they're Catholic. You know, of course, of course, the donations to the university are going to uh, stay. You know, it's going to keep happening. But as for number three, that's a little interesting. So there's, again, a chance of mystery and revelation to happen there. There's several ways this could go. I thought, you know, maybe, okay, maybe he might get there on time. 
and discover something. Or there's another thing where I have two kind of predictions for it. It could be either, because this is a CL Sebastian fanfic, he could be spending time with Sebastian and it kind of slips his mind and oh, he misses the deadline of 1130. 